Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about the reverse transcription process in brief. Now this process, you need to learn this process because you require this process in many different molecular biology aspects. In cloning, in recombinant DNA te technology experiments, so you need to know this process and obviously in virus reproduction of uh, retroviruses. So reverse transcription is a unique process because the normal process of transcription is usually produce RNA or mRNA from DNA molecule that's called the transcription and for this process to occur we require an enzyme called RNA polymerase or RNA pol right and from the mRNA we it will be translated into protein molecules so this is a normal central dogma of biology now what happens in reverse transcription reverse transcription that name says all because the transcription process will be reversed that means it will be from mRNA and we are producing DNA. So from mRNA, we will be producing DNA. So this is the normal process of transcription. So let us draw an mRNA. Let's say this is an mRNA. mRNA. Now once we get this mRNA, now this mRNA is single-stranded and we all know that. Single-stranded mRNA is there and we use a new type of enzyme to produce deoxynucleotide sequence to not produce to polymerize deoxynucleotide sequence with the single stranded uh, mRNA to produce a DNA RNA hybrid right so here it comes during this process we need to add DNTPs and that unique enzyme which is termed it is called as reverse transcriptase reverse transcriptase enzyme now this reverse transcriptase is nothing but a RNA dependent RNA polymerase this is the designation of reverse transcriptase an RNA dependent RNA polymerase normally this RNA polymerase is a DNA dependent RNA polymerase now once we use this reverse transcriptase enzyme what we will be having we will be having this mRNA and a new strand of DNA will be produced. Now remember this RNA dependent RNA polymerase do not require any kind of priming for this process they can synthesize on their own so they will start synthesizing here right no not actually sorry uh, described it wrong because they also require priming so if you are doing a recombinant DNA technology experiments you need to add a primer but if you are doing uh, if you are looking for the viral replication they are having that extra priming using bul bulging of uh, the mRNA from outwards so here it comes the DNA so once we have done it we produce a DNA strand and the previous RNA strand is there so this is the mRNA strand previously so mRNA DNA hybrid is actually generated now this hybrid is not stable is not stable because it is having deoxyribonucleotides and ribonucleotide paired with each other this is unstable so what they do in this case we need to most of the time degrade this RNA to get a complete DNA right so in this case we will chew this mRNA out now this DNA that we produce here the single stranded DNA that will be produced after cleaving of this mRNA will be termed as cDNA or complementary DNA right so let us chew it out so once we are degrading this mRNA using RNAs H it will degrade this mRNA and not degrade the DNA so DNA strand will be there DNA first strand now this DNA strand will be termed as complementary DNA because this DNA is produced using an mRNA template the ter term is complementary DNA now once complementary DNA is there we need to add some more deoxyribonucleotide there right so the next step and the final step we will put some more we will put some more DNTPs there right and we will put polymerase or simply we can use DNA polymerase right and we can add DNA DNTPs there it is coming the next DNA a strand so both of these strands are DNA now so ultimately we are getting here a double stranded DNA and all this 
molecules nucleotide molecules are of deoxy ribonucleotide type right so if we are starting our journey from an mrna then we are migrating and finally we produce a double stranded dna but the most important uh, enzyme here is the reverse transcriptase which is an rna dependent rna polymerase we must require for this reverse transcription process viruses like hiv use this reverse transcription process to produce double stranded dna from their genomic material mrna uh, or RNA, single stranded RNA. Now, once they produce this double stranded DNA, their aim is to incorporate this DNA into the host genome and finally expressing it using the host cell machinery. Once they are expressing this, their genome using host cell machinery, then they can capture the host cell and they can produce the infection inside the host cell. So, this is the sense of reverse transcription, and I hope that's helpful, guys. Thank you.